Hey people of the VC, it's Andy at Cloudy Milder. Um, don't usually do package opening videos, but as this one was uh, is uh, a grail, and um, it's one I purchased off eBay, I thought I would do the opening on camera. Uh, just to, well, one to share with you guys, and also uh, if, it, uh, if, it all, if it's all gone pear-shaped, if it's not as described, I've got it on camera. Um, so yeah, this is a grail. This is a record I've been searching for for um, a couple of years now. Um, I, I've never seen it out in the wild while digging. I uh, do see it occasionally online. It's usually well out of my price range, certainly um, in mint condition, which uh, this this isn't, um, uh, which is why I could afford it. Um, so it normally goes for at least uh, 40 50 pounds and I've seen it on eBay for people wanting up, upwards of 75 pounds for it um, which I would never pay for a record um, I did see what I was very tempted a week or so ago there was an auction on eBay it was right now uh, it was 25 pound plus postage it would have brought it up to about 30 pounds and the cover didn't look great it, it looked a little creased it had um, sticker damage on the front and I uh, I just I just couldn't bring myself to, to spend that much um, with the cover um, so bad. Um, it didn't sell, and uh, I've been checking each day to see if the seller was going to relist it at a cheaper price. Uh, he did end up relisting it, but he relisted it at the, the same price, so I wasn't going there. But during that search, I did find another one. Uh, I don't normally talk about how much I spend on records, but this was this was also twenty five pounds as well. Uh, right at the top end of my budget for second-hand records, but it was free delivery as well. And given postage and packing is what normally about three to four pounds for a record, I think I've got a fairly good deal. Um, I know the record isn't mint. It uh, in the photos it doesn't have the original inner sleeve, which is uh, which would be printed with lyrics. Um, but it is described as uh, cover has minor wear on edges. But spine is intact and easily read. Disc is in excellent condition. So let me show you what it is. Uh, so this is a specific pressing of this record. Uh, it's some music formations, so you probably won't be too surprised to, to hear that, uh, given I uh, show a few of those releases and tend to pick them up whenever I, I see them on that label. Um, It's, it is very well packaged, so uh, fair play to the, the guy. He certainly uh, knows how to to pack a record. So that's a plenty of tape, uh, bubble wrap on the inside. So far, yeah, pretty good packaging so far. Let's see if that'll slide out without any more cutting. Let's give it a bit more give here. Uh, talk about yourselves. Uh, I may try and speed this up if I can figure out how. Um, okay, that should be that should be all right. It should come out now. Here we go. Okay. Uh, that's so interesting. Now that's that's kind of sorry. Um, it's kind of throwing me the the note. There's a note on here that says thanks. P.S. YouTube this. 200 proofs the earth is not a spinning ball. Uh, so, um, okay. Right. We're getting there. We're getting there. So, have a guess what it is. If I told you 
That's why a bunch of men in animal skin loincloths. You probably get it straight away. I have to say, fair play to the man. He may, I don't know if he thinks the earth is flat, but he certainly knows how to pack a record flat. So there we go. And <laughs> it's a four. Brilliant. John and Vinalizer, you should send a link to this video to uh, that chap you bought the record off and show him how to pack a record for postage. This is insanely good. I'm uh, well impressed. Uh, boring for you guys, like, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be in superb condition. Or if it's not in superb condition, I don't think it's a fault of the, uh, the guys packing, that's for sure. So here we go, finally. The grail in the mail is Interglory Ride by Man of War on Music for Nations, Music for Nations number six. Yeah, let's confirm there is no printed inner sleeve. You can read the spine, or I can read the spine, you might not be able to. Uh, slight split at the top, I'm okay with that. A bit of a split on the inner sleeve, but it's a plain white inner sleeve, it's not the original. I'm going to probably, I'm rather definitely going to replace that. And the vinyl is, it is excellent. Interesting thing with the uh, Music for Nations, it doesn't have the generic Music for Nations label that they all seem to have. Man of War, listen, uh, hail to England. Um, they see, they have their own custom labels on it, so they must have had a pretty good deal with uh, Music for Nations, or Music for Nations gave them a very good deal uh, in order to get them on. So uh, thanks for bearing with me during that uh, extra long opening. Um, I'm going to go away and give this a uh, spin and uh, absolutely stoked to finally have that one in the collection. Thanks for watching.